All right, so the next conic section that we want to look at is the ellipse. Okay. So the ellipse is defined as follows. There are two foci. Okay. So foci is just the plural of focus. Um, so we have two points. And we're going to ask that every point on the ellipse satisfies this condition here, that the sum of the distances between the point x, y and these two foci shall be constant, right? So there's this constant distance d. The sum of those two distances must always be the same. Uh, you can actually, you know, if you can create an ellipse if you have, you know, let's say you have a table that you're allowed to pound some nails into. Maybe you're not. Um, but knock a couple of nails into the table, tie a piece of string, right? Um, something that has enough slack so there's still some room to stretch it after you've tied either end of the string to the two nails. And then you put a pencil in and you hold the pencil until that string is tight and then you move the pencil around and you will trace out an ellipse. So you can actually do this, right? You can draw one. Uh, you can do a better job than my kind of wonky ellipse that I put up here on the, on the board. All right. Um, so this is how you, uh, how you define the ellipse. Uh, but of course, we, we're not satisfied with just you know, this definition. We want to be able to use this to do calculus. We need to write down some sort of equation that defines the ellipse. Right? Um, so we've got the first steps are already here on the board. So the ellipse doesn't necessarily have to be defined with respect to a coordinate system, but I've drawn one in. It sort of makes sense to draw your coordinate axes to um, basically play the role of the two axes of symmetry for this ellipse. Right? We will be able to see that the ellipse is symmetric. That's not obvious from the definition, but it is. Um, and so we draw the x-axis through the two foci, and we draw the y-axis so that it splits the middle between the two foci. That's how we're going to set up a coordinate system. Right? And so with that coordinate system, we can say, well, what what is this definition? What does that lead to? What kind of equation does it lead to? Well, the distance between this point and the first focus, we have x minus minus c, so x plus c for the difference in the y-coordinates, and then simply y squared, right, because we have y equal to 0 there. That's d1. d2 will be x minus c squared plus y squared, and we want that to be equal to this constant distance d. All right. Now, this is maybe not the most useful form <coughs> for the equation of the ellipse, so we would like to get it into a more useful form. Shot this video once already. I did the algebra to get it into the form that we're trying to get to. And 15 minutes into the video, I wasn't quite done, and it was getting really messy. And I said, you know what? This it's maybe not that educational. If you want to see the, uh, if you want to see the algebra and see, you know, try it yourself, see if you can get there. If you can't, ask your instructor if they can write it up for you. So let's skip the algebra and get to the punchline. Okay, so let's just say there's some algebra that happens. Okay, all right, so algebra happens. And 10 minutes later, we get to here. x squared divided by, so there's going to be a d over 2 squared plus y squared. And here it's going to be, I believe it's d over 2 squared minus c squared equal to 1. Okay? So we we set up an equation like this, right? OK, um, now that's fine. These are constants. This, this works out. But actually, you can, you can put this into a slightly better form. So what we do is we let um, a squared equal to d over 2 squared. So essentially, a is d over 2. Um, we let b squared equal to d over 2 squared minus c squared, okay? And if we do that, we get the standard form x squared over a squared, y squared over b squared is equal to 1, okay? 
So this is your, your standard form for an ellipse. Uh, of course, if you want to shift, um, you can shift the origin, right? If you want to have an ellipse centered somewhere else so the foci aren't kind of centered with respect to the coordinate system like this, um, you can do the usual thing, right? Uh, if we want to shift it, then we'll have something that looks like x minus x naught squared over a squared y minus y naught squared over b squared is equal to 1. That's what the shifted version is going to look like. Okay, um, So that's the standard form, and that's the form that we'll work with. Right? Now, uh, before we move on to some examples, let me just kind of come back and take a look at these numbers here. Right? Um, so what we have is, well, a squared, you know, so a is basically d over 2. Right? This is what this one is more or less saying. a is equal to d over 2, right? half the total distance. And you can start thinking about what that looks like. And actually, um, the right way to think about it is probably to think about this point right here. Okay? So think about that point, x0, right? So what happens if y is equal to 0? Okay? Um, what do we get? Um, well, we basically get the absolute value of x plus c, absolute value of x minus c, and while we're setting things, if we put x over here, then this is just x plus c. That's just x minus c. That's equal to d, right? Um, so we can, we can combine that, right? If y is equal to 0, if y is equal to 0, we just get um, x plus c, x minus c. We get 2x is equal to d, right? So, oh, x is equal to d over 2. x is equal to a, right? So actually, we know now that this point here, is a0, right? And similar argument is going to tell you that over here, this must be minus a0, right? OK. Um, so OK, so he, down here now, we think about this. Well, what does this tell you? This tells me that that's just a, right? So a squared is b squared plus c squared. Um, well, that looks an awful lot like a Pythagorean relation. So where does, where does that fit in? Um, let's see. Here's A. Okay. Where is C? C is this distance. Seems a bit tricky. But what we can do is we can play around and we can work out that what we get for B is, well, B is basically what we get, let's see. If we put x equal to 0, bear with me for a second. Um, if we, if we put x equal to 0 in this equation, we get c squared plus y squared. Uh, we get c squared plus y squared. We get 2c squared plus y squared, right, equals d squared. Um, so, oh, that means c squared plus y squared is, is d over 2, which is, yeah, a. Um, so we can, we can play around and we can work out that actually what b is. b is just... B is the coordinate up here, right? So B gives the value for that, for that y-intercept. And down here is 0 and minus B, right? Um, so just, just so you know where that came from, OK? If x is equal to 0, I get square root of c squared plus y squared um, plus square root of c squared plus y squared. I get two of those. So 2 times root c squared plus y squared is equal to d. So root c squared plus y squared is equal to d over 2, which is a. So c squared plus y squared is equal to a squared. Um, and here we know that a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared, right? So a squared minus c squared is b squared. We can match it up, right? y squared has to be b squared, so y has to be plus or minus b. That's how we get those two points. All right, so that's the setup for the ellipse. We'll pause here, and we'll dive into some examples in the next videos.